Hey, what's up everyone? Fury here. Today we are looking at Leo's 5H. If you caught my stream the other day, you would have saw me figuring out what to do versus this move. And I'm here with the results of said test. Um, so this move is an important move for Leo. Long range, leads to huge damage. It is a good way for him to restart pressure. You know, when it when his pressure strength ends, this is one of the ways he can get back into an advantageous situation. And it has a lot of options off it, um, which are pretty okay options. It's Leo though, so you know all those options have risk to it. So let's look at the anatomy of the move first. So it's it's long range. Now it's slow start up, but it is long range, and the recovery on it is not bad. You can see here it's it's pretty it's pretty good, um, but the start up is what makes it you know weak. So if you're punishing it, you really have to be using. A long range move and you can see even here i'm struggling to do it because it's it, it just recovers very quickly um i luckily have ice pillars so it's quite easy to just do that if you're playing kai you could use your fireball yrc something like that to punish it also it's vulnerable to 6p so your upper body invincible moves uh that's really helpful if you're making a read on him in neutral that he's going to use this button and he will use this button like it's kind of unavoidable for leo to use this button uh but the thing we're interested in mainly here is what happens after so the main things he's got are i'll say two major options and then a bunch of other like kind of questionable options right so the main thing to look for the main thing you're worrying about is 5h 6h 5h 2d those are that's the two biggest parts of this move that's what you're looking for and the reason for that is 5h uh 6h is punishable by throw so we can record that now it's punishable by throw on normal block on insta block on everything you can just throw it and you can throw it on reaction it's about 20 i think it's 22 frames start up something like that so it is for a bomb reaction, but like with a lot of Leo's stuff, even if you can punish it on reaction, he has so many different options, that's what makes it scary. So you've got that, which is punishable by throw, and on top of that, you've got this. Now, this is punishes you for trying to throw, right? So if I'm holding back, I get punished for it. A lot of the times, it's kind of okay to take it. It's punishable on block, but he can DP afterwards. And that's kind of where his mix comes in. If he has meter, it's kind of scary to punish him on blocks. He could just flash kick you and you have to hold that. But yeah, it is punishable on block for sure. You can just do what you like, really. So those are the two major options that you're looking at. You're just kind of blocking low, reacting to the uh, 6H and then throwing it. Well, let's look at some of the more nuanced, like a rare occasions. So one of them is going into first wrecker. Now, obviously his turn kind of ends here, theoretically, if he does this, but it's still pretty safe for him to just throw it out and then convert if he sees you've been hit. He can confirm that any day of the week, right? And yeah, being safe on block, can't really do anything. It's also a true block string, so I can't mash a button out. So what you have to do is IB. And instant blocking against this move in general, against uh, 5h is good and i'll explain that in a second but let's get this punish first there we go so that's generally what you're going to do is you want to ib it and throw and the reason it is good to ib 5h in general is you can see it pulls you in it pulls the other character in and if you instant block it's gonna you're gonna be even closer right so you're gonna be super close to them and that means that the throw options are just way easier to do because you know that he's not going to have like spaced it at some mad range where you can't actually punish it with anything. So if he does it right at a tip, you're going to have a harder time punishing with the throw, getting it that last frame where he is close enough. With the instant block, you're going to have a way easier time punishing everything he does. And it's a slow move on startup, like we said. It's pretty reasonable to instant block it, especially in pressure strings when you're expecting it. But you're not always going to be expecting it, so that's just the reality of things. So some of the more gimmicky things he can do here is he can go into guard point from his uh, from his 5H. Guard point, it basically absorbs standing attacks and then he can cancel that into something like a 2H. Um, 
when I say standing attacks, I mean mid attacks, basically. Uh, mids and overheads, he absorbs them and then cancels. You can just 2k this. You can always 2k it. It's not... You can 2k it on reaction. It's like, it's not a big deal at all. But he will throw it in occasionally just because the risk reward is so big for him in a lot of situations. Getting hit by a counter hit 2h is uh, kind of death a lot of the time. So definitely going to see Leo's once in a blue moon throw that out there. Another option is going into uh, Fireball YRC. Once again, you can react to this. If you do, you know, end up blocking it, he is going to get pressure. But yeah, just on normal hit, you can react to it. Uh, he can YRC early and try and gimmick you out there. But generally speaking, just react to it. It's fine. Like I've said continuously through this video, Leo has a lot of things that are reactable. And because there's a lot of things, they kind of stop being reactable. Um, another thing he has is going into back turn by holding H. Now, he can't really put a button out here. If you're better than me, you can punish it. It's kind of a tight window. Um, so you can actually stop him from getting any sort of momentum off this. But he can also just counter. And the counter comes out super quickly. So if he counters, you know, you're going to get hit. He's going to get full combo. Obviously, the drawback to this is you can punish him, right? Still, Leo players will make that read on, like, if they think you're going to mash a button. And it's not a bad read at all. So that's another option there. You kind of have to be ready for the counter um, and the back turn mix up. I generally just, I'm kind of an asshole. I just try and get away. I just backdash and figure it out from there. If I think he's going to try and uh, back turn and go for those sorts of mix-ups on me. Um, he obviously can read that. You know, it's Guilty Gear. You can read everything in this game. But it's it's still an option there for him. It's a gimmicky one because he definitely has to make a read to maintain pressure because he can't block. So, yeah, just kind of judge that with what the Leo player is doing. And that's kind of it, really. Second wreckers, I, I guess I can show you second wrecker, but it's if I remember the input. Right there. What is it? There we go. So, second wrecker is a thing he can do, but you can definitely just throw that on reaction every single time. Is whatever. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, I can show you actually my notes real quick. So, we've got here all the options. So, we see 2D, we punish on block. We see 6H, we throw it. Wrecker, we can instant block into throw, unless it's second Wrecker. Back turn, K, you can 2K it. Guard point, you can 2K it. Um, Sonic boom, you can 2K it. Uh, the only thing we have to worry about in the back turn is him going for that counter and getting some mix up on us. But uh, generally speaking, you're probably gonna be all right. So that's it for me. Uh, just a quick little video showing you how to deal with that move from Leo. I've uh, definitely long awaited actually discovering how to deal with this move and the things that follow it up. Uh, finally got around to actually labbing it. So I'm proud of myself right now. Anyway, have a great day. Take care of yourself.